It's Candice with WhiteRibbonBoutique.com. I'm doing something totally different today. We're gonna bake. Let me go ahead and share this video around. If you have RSVP'd, I don't know how the event works, like going live in an event, so hopefully it works. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but let me go ahead and make sure that people can see this video. Because if not, that would be really sad. Hi, Poppy. I feel like you always pop onto my White Raven stuff, but this one actually might be one that you'd be interested in, possibly. Aha, there I am. I don't wanna hear myself though. Hi, Victoria. All right, let's see, how do I do this? Can I just like share from here? Yeah, I can. Baking. Gary, this is not about you today, okay? My Lord. All right, I think this is working. Hello, I see there's five people on, but I can't see who it is, and I don't know why it's not showing me that. But when you hop on, say hello. Hi, Allie, hi, Kelly. And um, we're gonna do some baking. <laughs> but by baking, I mean we're gonna do it in the microwave. <laughs> we're gonna make mug cakes. And I was going to do a beer bread in the oven, but since my house is a literal inferno, um, because my AC decides that it's not going to produce cold air if it's over 100 degrees outside. So I'm not turning my oven on because I don't know if you... So I bought this house and it came with this. And I don't know how to use that. But it takes like 500 years for the oven to get hot. And it like makes my house a thousand degrees. So we're not going to do that. But I am going to show you guys that so that you can um, see which one it is. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get started because this is gonna be like a super quick one because these don't take long at all. Hi, Lauren. Hello, hello, Victoria. All right, I think I'm good. I think I'm good sharing around. I don't need to share this too, too much. This is just gonna be like a for funsies. And um, just a disclaimer that there may be foul language, um, no guarantees, and I will be drinking, so. There's that because my life is a shit show. So bourbon, cheers, cheers, big ears. So this is what I have for you guys today. So I made one of these the other day and I was like, holy crap, these are awesome. Hey, McDaniel. So they're these little cake singles and I made this chocolate chip one the other day and it was bomb. It comes out in the consistency of, I wanna say like a muffin or a cupcake and a brownie, like a mix between those, um, but tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. So since I made that one the other day and I already know what it tastes like, it's bomb. I'm gonna make the other three. You add water to them and put them in the microwave for 90 seconds, like it's the easiest thing ever. So I have a snickerdoodle cookie, which looks heckin' good, and then the caramel apple cinnamon, which also looks heckin' good, and then the one I'm most excited for is chocolate peppermint. So dang tasty. Also, I have beer bread. So all of these I have on White Raven Boutique's website for sale, okay? So I also have beer bread. You literally add one bottle of any kind of beer that you have in your fridge. Like it could be the nasty like Coors Light that you have sitting in the back of your fridge or like that Guinness that you bought to make pot roast one time and like you haven't touched the rest of them since, throw that in here, mix it up and you bake it. And it's a, uh, it's 60 to 65 minutes. So about an hour in a regular loaf pan. Okay. If you don't have a loaf pan because you're only half of an adult like me, I have one of those like glass, like square dish things like a Pyrex deal. Um, and I put this, actually I put the cinnamon crumble one in there and it took about 30 minutes. So just know that like, if you put it in something different since it was like shorter, it's all physics, right? Science. Since it was like smaller and like more spread out in that big pan, it took way less time. So keep track of like what you're putting it in. Make sure that if it says to put it in like a bread thing that you're putting it in a bread thing. And if you're not, then 
adjust accordingly time-wise. Um, but everything else is fine. So they have the, the um, garlic parmesan bomb. And then my personal favorite, but it has one extra ingredient and one extra step. It's the cinnamon crumble. This tastes just like a cinnamon, like coffee cake, but like without the coffee flavor, it tastes like cinnamon deliciousness. And the top is really nice and crumbly and it has an extra step. You have to add butter to a certain part of this and it makes like that delicious glaze that's on top. So one extra step, but just as easy. And all of them have like the instructions on the back, like they're literally like super fast instructions. And they have other like fancy recipes that you can do with this stuff. I keep hitting my cups. But I like to stick with these guys because they're super easy. So I'm gonna do the snickerdoodle cookie one. And we're gonna start, Lauren, I saw you hop on. So I'm gonna use our mug. My mom likes to make mugs of uh, me and my friends for Christmas and give them to us. So all you do is literally open it, you dump the mix, which looks just like a powder. I'll show you guys since, you know, I have to know this stuff because I get really curious about it. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. So looks like powder, right? Now it says you add three tea of water. It's just a tea, like three tea. I haven't been able to figure out if that means teaspoons or tablespoons. So I just kind of winged it. <laughs> Where's my mug mom? What the heck? I know. I was just looking. I'm like, what do I have? So I've got Lauren and I. I have that's me and my brother and one of my sisters. And then there's me and Bo. And Bo was mid sneeze. <laughs> as I was trying to take a cute photo with him, of course. So, so yeah, I don't know if um, a tea is a teaspoon or a tablespoon, um, but I have both of those things, which I found. These are hand-me-downs from like four different sets. So I'm gonna use the teaspoon, and if it doesn't seem, oh, Mary's saying tablespoon. That must have been why I needed to add more. Okay, you know what, we're gonna do tablespoon and we're gonna see if it comes out better because I used a teaspoon last time and I had to add a little bit of water. So, okay, tablespoons. Thank you, Mary. You're saving everybody. So, three tablespoons of water. I've got my sink literally right here. So I'm gonna add three tablespoons of water and then I have my handy dandy fork that I'm gonna mix this with because I'm not an adult at all. Okay, three tea, three tea of water in here. You mix it up, make sure that it's not bad. If you don't like this, I hate this sound, so if you don't like this sound, just la, 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 while you're doing this. I don't like the sound of like metal on ceramic. It drives me crazy. TSP would be teaspoon. See, that's what I thought. I thought tablespoon had a B in it, but you know, we'll see. I'll do this one with a tablespoon, and then I'll do the next one with teaspoons, and we'll see how the difference is. So the consistency I have now, is like bloop, you know, the bloop consistency. That's the good one. So it looks like that in the bottom of my mug. It fills up to about here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I like it. These are not diet at all, okay? I'm gonna put that out there. Usually when there's a tea, it's a tablespoon, and when it's a lowercase t, it is a teaspoon. Okay, good to know, it is a capital T, so. We'll see how this one turns out. This will be our tester. And then you guys will know, and I'll know. And I just figured out how to do my microwave. I thought I could only do it in like whole minutes. I can do it in 30 second increments. So hold on one moment, please. Well, I place this in the microwave. So these take 90 seconds, or a minute and a half if you're a dancer. And then we'll get started on the next one. So this next one I'm gonna do is the caramel apple cinnamon. And these, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like um, like the apple cinnamon oatmeal. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So, same thing, just powder, heckin' cute. 
I'm gonna try, I don't think it'll mix right with just a teaspoon. So I'm gonna do tablespoons again. We'll see what happens. If I botch these, then we know it was supposed to be teaspoons. But these are so good. And so we made the cinnamon crumble, like the bread, but it was kind of like a cake because we put it in a cake thing, like I said. And it was so good. And we were eating off of it forever. I mean, my brother came over and had some. We actually put like ice cream on top of it. It was so good. So I definitely recommend that one. And these mix really well with a fork. I tried to use um, a whisk the other day and it's just easier with a fork because the fork's smaller and you're doing it in a tiny little mug. So there's that. So once it comes out of the microwave, Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So once it comes out of the microwave, it says to let it cool for two minutes. I'm gonna see what this looks. Oh wow. Oh wow. It looks totally different than the one I did the other day. It looks much larger. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when it comes out. So it has now grown from like here to here in the cup. So it's now like almost three quarters of the way full. It smells so good. So you have to let it cool for two minutes because it's like piping hot in there. And I'm gonna make the third one. So this third one is the one I'm most excited for. It's the chocolate one. Chocolate peppermint, which gives me like all the winter vibes. I'm feeling it. I'm ready for fall. I don't know why it's so hot today. I think it got up to like 111 today. It's not okay. I'm not okay. I'm sweating. I was gonna do like my hair all cute for you guys and then I'm like, oh no. And then I thought, well wait, am I allowed to have my hair down while I'm like making stuff? I don't even have a hairnet or anything. I can't be a lunch lady without a hairnet. All right, so I did three tablespoons of this one too. This one actually is like a little bit more liquidy of a consistency with the three tablespoons. So we'll see how this goes. So it's almost impossible to uh, mess this up, even with me thinking that it was originally supposed to be teaspoons. <laughs> I still, like it came out just fine. It's just the batter was so much thicker and the cake inside the mug was so much more dense, um, but it wasn't bad, like it still tasted delicious. All right, did I spill on myself? Oh, heck yeah. Oh my gosh, that tastes like that peppermint um, chocolate mocha thing at Starbucks. Heckin' yeah. Okay, putting this guy in. Gary, you are not a very good sous chef, okay? Gary is hanging out right behind you guys on the table staring at me. So this is what this one looks like. Boom. Apple cinnamon. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. This one's probably ready. Has it been two minutes? Probably. I'm going to taste test this one. This is a snickerdoodle. So when you dip into it, it's like super fluffy and just amazing and delicious. It looks very hot. I'm probably going to burn my mouth. worth it. It's so good, you guys. It's so moist. I know nobody likes that word, but it's like, how else am I going to describe this? It's fluffy. It's delicious. It's like sweet. It tastes like a snickerdoodle cookie, but the consistency is fluff, like more cake-like. Cake consistency with snickerdoodle cookie taste. It's me, what brand is it? So, it's the Molly and You brand. And I have these in the boutique. And actually, I can't reach my screen, <laughs> but I can, boom. I can put these up on the screen and it actually makes the video like shoppable. So I'm gonna tap all of them and feature them for you guys so that you can see them. And don't mind um, my sweat. It's 5,000 degrees in my house. 
approximately. And I only, um, I'm only a little bit dramatic. But I like the heat, but not like this. I can feel the sweat. Okay, there, so everything should be linked now. So you should see like right now I have the um, cinnamon crumble beer bread on there. So the cinnamon crumble beer bread, this is the one I was saying it had an extra ingredient. So you need one bottle of beer plus a half stick of butter to make the glaze that goes on top. Still super easy, like literally if I can do it, anyone can do it. With this one, I also have gluten-free. So my gluten-free people can also partake in that. And I'm telling you guys, this is a hit. But be careful of the pan size that you're putting it in. Either put it in the one it calls for, which is that little brown, like what you would see like a pound cake in. Or if you put it in a glass like Pyrex thing like me, do it for half the time. I think we did it for 30 minutes and it was like done. Let me grab this other guy. I'm gonna grab this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, look at that. I mean, it doesn't really like look cool. It's not a fancy thing. Like it's not gonna look fancy for your parties, okay? But it tastes bomb. So there's that. I was just going to ask about gluten free. Yeah, so um, as far as I know, the little mug cakes. So I've got chocolate chip, the snickerdoodle, the apple cinnamon, and the uh, chocolate peppermint. Those ones aren't gluten free. The only gluten free one that I know of is the cinnamon crumble, which I mean, it's probably my favorite, I would say. Uh, I mean, I haven't tried these other two yet, so we'll see. Okay, I'm dipping in to the apple cinnamon one. Again, you guys. It's super fluffy, doesn't look fancy, but it's delicious, okay? How's it gluten-free if you add beer? Oh, it's not the beer bread. No, this one's the other one. This is, this is pour mix into large bowl. So this is how they do it. Pour mix into large bowl and add 12 ounces of gluten-free beer, if that exists or any carbonated beverage, club soda, I don't know, anything. So carbonated beverage or gluten-free beer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So there's that, but you do need butter for this one too. I think, yes, butter or butter substitute if you're not doing dairy. But if you're not doing dairy, I mean, what are you doing with your life? This is so good, you guys. So I said that it smelled like the, like the apple cinnamon, like oatmeal, but it tastes like a thousand million times better than that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wish you guys could taste this or like have smell a vision. I know this is not what people came here for, just watch me eat things, but it's what's happening. I like to poke at them a little bit. They're just so like bouncy and fluffy. I feel like I really accomplished something in 90 seconds. Okay, this is the chocolate peppermint. Of course I'm eating out of all these and then I'm gonna make my husband eat the rest of them, so. There's that. Mm-hmm. All right, that one's my favorite. That's my favorite. Chocolate peppermint for the win. It tastes like a delicious brownie with like just the slightest hint of peppermint. It's not like overbearing peppermint, so that's good. It tastes just like a freaking brownie with like the taddest bit of peppermint added to it. It's so good. You guys, I'm telling you, they're awesome. And they're super easy to make, heckin' easy. The breads are $10. I think these are four fifty, five bucks. I can't remember how much these ones are. Um, Let me see. 450. The little guys are 450. The big ones are 10 bucks. Like you can't beat that. You get a whole bread for 10 bucks or a whole little guy for 450. So what I was thinking would be cool as I'm sitting here sweating my balls off. What I was thinking would be cool is if you start thinking about Christmas gifts, right? So let's say you go to Starbucks or wherever you go to the grocery store, you go to TJ Maxx, Home goods, don't go to home goods, you'll spend all your money. 
get like a cute mug, put this in the mug, and then put like a little bow on it. Perfect gift for those people that you don't know what in the heck to get them. Because these are so good to have around your house when you just want something like sweet, but you don't really want a cookie. You kind of want cake, but you don't want to go store and buy a whole cake. You have like literally one of these that you put in a little mug. This is more than enough to satisfy your sweet tooth. I'm telling you, I like this. If this is enough for me, it's enough for anybody because this girl, I can eat, okay? I've been to fat camp, all right? I can eat. So these are awesome, totally awesome. And you guys need them. So that's all I have for you today. I was gonna do this uh, garlic Parmesan bread, but like I said, it's 5,000 degrees in this house and my oven takes like two hours to heat up and it makes the whole house so much hotter. So there's that, but yeah. That's all I have for you guys today. But thanks for watching and hanging out with me on this beautiful hot Sunday. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. You can get everything that I made today plus more at whiteravenboutique.com. And I have linked everything in this video. So you can go straight to these products from this video and you should be good to go. If you have any questions, please let me know. And have a lovely rest of your Labor Day weekend. Bye.